I just need, actually did like a legit professional review of the DJI OM4 and I'm like, can I just make a video of my dog? Good morning guys. Oh my God, why do I look like this? I have had this pimple for literally three weeks and there's even a spot patch on it right now. So like this is what it looks like when it's blurred. Love that for me. Good morning, today is Thursday today. This week has been so insanely busy. I've been working like very full days. I feel like I'm filming so much content. But today I haven't done one of these videos in ever. Have I done one of these videos? I honestly don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but I wanted to show you guys what I eat in a day. I've been like low-key obsessed with watching these from other creators and I was like maybe there's like two people out there who want to see what I eat in a day and this is by no means like what I eat in a day to lose weight or stay healthy I've talked about this before but I have just like the most digestion issues ever and so it's been a journey and a process learning what works with my body and like what I digest okay and I mean it still changes day to day depending on you know like how my body reacts to things and I think also just like stress is a big factor too because I try and just like eat similar things every single day. But yeah, that's the tea and uh, let's make some breakfast. So I'd say like five out of seven days, I eat the exact same thing for breakfast and it is the Greek yogurt non-fat plain. And by doing the plain versus the vanilla or a flavored one, there's so much added sugar. So like here's the nutrition. And dude, like 16 grams of protein for three fourths of a cup is crazy. I know that I've mentioned that I'm lactose intolerant, not severely, but like definitely a little irritable. <laughs> <laughs> and I've found that actually keeping dairy in my diet in small amounts has actually trained my body to be so much better at digesting it. So this has made such a big difference, I feel like. I usually do like a few like solid scoops of the Greek yogurt and then I add a little bit of honey on top, usually with some fruit. Right now I just have some strawberries cut up and then this is the kind, healthy grains, oats, and honey clusters with toasted coconut granola. Also, I owe you guys an apology uh, that last week's vlog had very little mousse content in it. So I promise that this vlog will be heavily Mooseified will have all the moose things in it. I'm so excited. Okay, also, moose, we gotta get you some breakfast. Okay, so it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but she's cute, she's delicious, and it keeps me full for so long because of all the protein in the yogurt. Moose, hello. <coughs> oh my goodness, what was this? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get you some breakfast, and um, maybe today we'll add a little strawberry topper on top of the puppy food. Okay, all right. Bone apple tea. So Moose needs a combination of, uh, uh, sir, sit, sit, thank you. Thank you. Um, we'll see it's a combination of kibble and then dehydrated veggies and proteins that are ground up. Ah, 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 sit, sit, moose, moose. Can I have this paw? Can I have this paw? Oh, 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 what paw, please? Think, uh, all the way, think, paw, please, paw, paw. Sir, can I have your paw? Thank you so much, that's so good. Okay, so it's a combination of kibble and then you just add water to the dehydrated stuff. Looks pretty nasty, we call it just like his soup. Honestly, Moose is not very picky, but it's um, what our vet recommended and uh, he seems to love it. And now we caffeinate. These are all of Jeremy's espresso shots, which would probably make me shake until uh, 2021. But this is the unfocused vanilla custard pie. And then we just have the Nespresso, so. <laughs> Oh God, usually I use two hands. Okay, and I make a vat of coffee. Basically, you guys have seen me with my giant thing of iced coffee usually in the morning and take off. Also, does anyone else's Nespresso make like an obnoxious amount of noise? I feel like ours is like kind of dying potentially because it's really loud. Like it kind of sounds like a plane taking off. Okay, and then I do a little bit of stevia, which I feel like is probably bad for you, but that's okay. I also do a little bit of cinnamon, which has been my newest thing. Oh God, that was kind of a lot. And oh my God, it makes such a big difference. It's so delicious. Give her a little stir. And then we go over to the freezer and add a shit ton of ice. Oh no, usually I use two hands for this. Oh, free ice cube. <laughs> ice cube cleanup crew. <laughs> <laughs> And last up is chocolate oat milk. Update, my makeup and hair is done. I have these like little pigtails. Honestly, Remy did it the other day and it looked really cute. And I feel like I look like just the cheaper version of what she did because she's got so much more hair than I do. But I just took off my press on nails, gonna switch into a new set, which is actually a collaboration with something really fun. I think it's announcing on Monday. But anyways, gonna swap out my nails. You guys know that like I'm all about the press ons. I don't think I'm gonna go back ever, even like if the 
world does happen to stop shitting itself and goes back to normal and we can go to nail salons, I think I'm about the press on life like forever. I wanna start like a new series called Nail Therapy where when I'm doing my nails, I answer a bunch of questions. So I asked you guys on Instagram yesterday to send me like your deepest, darkest questions that need advice. And honestly, there were so many good topics in there that we've A, already covered on the podcast or B, are great topics to cover in future podcasts. So definitely had some major thought starters and I'm gonna answer about nine or 10 questions I think in this upcoming IGTV. You guys, when I said that I was not going to disappoint with moose footage in this vlog, to make up for the lack of moose footage in my last vlog, we are going so hard with it. So I just got a new tech toy. So I just got the DJI OM4 and they are sponsoring this video. I'm so excited. Basically it's a phone stabilizer and like the cinematic shots that we are about to create. Basically I'm just gonna follow Moose around and make like the most cinematic mini movie of Moose that we've ever seen before. So it's the DJI OM4 and this is what it looks like. It's super sleek, small, foldable and then you just download the DJI Mimo app and it's got like all the creative fun things that you can do with the OM4. So I've got the magnetic phone clamp and you basically just pop your phone in there and this part just like magnets to the super strong magnet on the back of this you line it up and bah! oh my god okay this is the best part ready you turn it on this part is magic it makes me like die every time and she said balance so you can either use the magnetic clamp or if you don't want to use the clamp, there's like this super easy little stick on magnet you can just add to your phone. So it pops on and off super quick if you're like going back and forth between using it. I look like such a tech YouTuber. I Justine, I'm coming for your job. <laughs> I Justine actually did like a legit professional review of the DJI OM4 and I'm like, can I just make a video of my dog? On this side, I've got a little joystick right here and it controls like the left and the right motion and also the tilt. And then you can also also, go landscape! <laughs> So there's so many fun things. I'm gonna show you dynamic zoom, like with some overlay footage of Moose doing a dynamic zoom and like not the dog zoom that like you're thinking, but like the DJI dynamic zoom, which is just like a really cool warping effect. So I feel like I should just like show you fun things of how cool this is because I'm not a tech YouTuber and I'm probably doing a very mediocre job. So I feel like the footage of Moose is gonna explain more than I could of how cool this thing is. I'm a director, producer, and cinematographer now. So if you guys want to shop the DJI OM4, I will have a link in the description box. I'm so excited. Please make like mini movies of your children, your pets, your roommate, your sibling, your significant others, whatever it is, and send me clips because I'm so excited to see. There are so many cool modes to create and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Were you being a whole ass psycho while trying to get cinematic shots of you? Stand there and do nothing and look cute if if, uh, it's a yes. So glad we're on the same page. All right, it is officially lunch and I'm like about to die. I'm so hungry, like not to be dramatic, but I'm about to die. I have been eating this like little wrap, like embarrassingly simple little wrap using these plant protein tortillas. They're higher in protein than just like a typical like whole wheat one with some pepper jack cheese and smoked turkey breast. And then I also am like on a baby carrot kick currently. So baby carrots and then also obsessed with this Trader Joe's buffalo style chicken dip so good
Also, I forgot to mention that I have been drinking so many of these recently. It's a prebiotic soda. Honestly, not entirely sure if it does anything, but I've been feeling pretty good, like digestion wise. So I'm gonna keep drinking them. Okay, it is a little bit later and I'm having a little snacko of an apple and the Trader Joe's Speculous, Speculous, Speculous cookie butter, which is so bomb. Oh my God, this is probably should be like a dessert, but I have an uncontrollable sweet tooth and this is my answer to it. I've also been eating these Kid Cliff Bars, the Z-Bar Protein in Peanut Butter Chocolate. I just like don't love the taste of whey, like usually what protein it is made of. I feel like the Kid Bars still have like a decent amount of protein, but like not a crazy amount, so it doesn't taste like poop. This has been my little pick-me-up in the afternoon. Jeremy also has been very jealous of my Kid Protein Bars because they're delicious and has been stealing all of them. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, so I ordered a new coffee table because the new cloud couch is coming Monday. This like little ass box showed up and I was like, oh my God, did I accidentally order a mini coffee table? Thank God it's just the legs of the table and the actual table like top portion has not showed up. Kind of sad that I'll have to build it. Good news, did not order a mini table. Okay, can't remember when this is going up, but here's a sneak peek for a Sunday video, a Sunday DIY. Uh, this is the backdrop that I'm gonna be filming the B-roll on. It may or may not be K-pop related. Leave your guesses in the comments down below. <laughs> Okay, hello, it's time to cook dinner. So I think I've actually showed this before, but basically I'm obsessed with doing like one pan meals. So whether that's with chicken and veggies or mostly just chicken and veggies and pork and veggies. I feel like we try and eat chicken most nights and don't eat too much red meat, but I have been obsessed with these Italian style smoked chicken sausage. Why does my face look like this in this lighting? Why is that so bad? There we go, much better. This is what it looks like and there's four sausages and so I just cut them up into slices and put them on the pan with a whole bunch of different veggies stick them in the oven for 35 minutes and call it a day and it's literally the easiest and most delicious and low maintenance dinner ever that's usually typically pretty healthy also if you haven't noticed I feel like my main priority is like high protein I don't stick to any one specific diet as you saw with my uh, consumption of cookie butter but I do try and eat high protein because I feel like with my metabolism and my therapist also told me that my anxiety causes me to burn protein faster than most people So I try and eat high protein. So anyways, I'm also gonna do a little bit of rice in my little baby rice cooker right here Literally the cutest thing I've ever bought from Urban Outfitters to go with our one pan dinner And obviously you can do it with or without rice But I do like having a little bit of carb to keep me full longer. Jeremy is literally holding my camera so I can take a thumbnail Babe, aren't you lucky? Look at this delicious meal Which one the food or you? <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we stay fed. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. He's got great nails. he got cute foods. Wow, you look skinny, babe. Look at skinny! Yeah, oh goodness. Okay, into the oven. <laughs> Bone apple tea, sir. That's Jeremy's portion. There's rice underneath. I'm starving! Yes! Oh man, the hair has just gone so downhill throughout the day. Okay, so that was dinner. And then I'm gonna end the vlog, but not before sharing with you guys my like after dinner snack. When we're watching TV or working on my laptop, it's the Trader Joe's Gone Berry Crazy Dark Chocolate Covered Strawberry Pieces. These are literally so bomb. The same brand also makes chocolate covered bananas, which are also so good. I actually have both in the freezer right now, but highly recommend, again, if you have a sweet tooth like me, this is my answer and my nightly sugar kick. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed seeing what I eat in a typical day. This was definitely like a super average what I eat in a day. I also drink water during the day. I just realized that I didn't share any of like my liquid consumption outside of that prebiotic drink. So yeah, definitely try and stay hydrated. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you on Sunday for the next Sunday DIY. I'll see you on Tuesday for the newest episode of Wild Till 9. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Okay, bye guys. Love you.